Hey guys, we have driven into Memphis because of course, if you're in Memphis or near Memphis, you gotta go to the King's Place. And when we mean the King, we don't mean Elvis. No, we're wrestling fans. We have a different King than most people. <laughs> we have yeah. the King Jerry Lawler. Jerry the King Lawler. We are at his barbecue joint here in Memphis. And we're gonna have some lunch and hopefully see if there's some cool memorabilia in there or anything like that. Uh, we do enjoy the entertainment of professionally re professional wrestling, so this should be a lot of fun. Yeah, let's go have some lunch. Yeah, here, check out Jesse's shirt real quick. Oh yeah, WWF. It's WWE now, but uh, we watched it so much in college when we were younger. It was WWF then. It'll always be WWF to me. <laughs> let's have some barbecue. brisket plate, brisket with coleslaw and potato salad. I have the Ravisher brisket sandwich. So of course, I had to get some banana pudding because who doesn't love banana pudding? And uh, it's kind of a classic barbecue place uh, dessert to try. So they gave us a large tub of it here, so we'll, we'll try it out and see how it is. So what do you think, Jay Steve? I 100% approve. My brisket sandwich was great. I like the fact that it was called the Ravisher. I'm sure in honor of ravishing Rick Rude. Mm -hmm. And this uh, banana pudding is good too. Awesome. I like this place. I think it's going to be a success. It's very cool with all the, uh, the walls are covered with all sorts of stuff about wrestling, especially about Jerry. In Memphis wrestling and everything. It's really cool. They've got some old matches and things on the television. And we were talking about how it'd be awesome if they had the, just the sounds of the matches coming into the place instead of the music. Yeah, they got music playing in here, but it would be cool if the audio from the the matches on the TV were coming through. All right, so we just enjoyed Jerry the King Lawler's barbecue. What did you think, Jay Steve? I think if I lived near here, I would eat here all the time. <laughs> it was very good. Yeah, it was good. Uh, we had the brisket, and um, of course, being from Texas, we're used to Texas barbecue. Um, and brisket is like the mainstay, right? So if you're going to try barbecue in different places, that's what you should try, in my opinion. And the brisket was really good. Yeah, yeah I had the brisket sandwich, and it was great. They had really good uh, sauce, too. Yeah, so apparently uh, Jerry Lawler has his own sauces that he's made, and they had those here that you could have. And um, he had the Slamwich, because they're not sandwiches, they're Slamwiches. Yeah, it was called the Ravisher. Yeah, so the menu was really neat because it had a lot of wrestling terms and stuff like that, which was cool. Um, I just had a plate with potato salad and um, coleslaw, which to me are the staple sides of barbecue. Coleslaw was your pretty standard. Coleslaw was good. The potato salad was different. It wasn't the usual sort of uh, mustard based potato salad. It was called baked potato salad and it was like sour cream and bacon bits and they're all mashed up with it. It was, it was really good. Not what I expected but good. So I, I enjoyed it. Um, I did miss my pickles and onions. I guess that's a Texas thing. <laughs> There's always pickles and onions to have with your barbecue and they didn't have that here but uh, it didn't really matter because it was really good. Yeah, barbecue means different things to different people depending on where you're from. Yeah, like regional barbecue is a really huge thing and Tennessee barbecue is its own thing. Um, and this barbecue was good. This was good. I give Jerry the thumbs up. Good job, King. <laughs>